What's that crack? What's that story? You blue noses. Welcome back to the channel. We finally have a manager, Tony Mowbray Army. Tony Mowbray Army. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm so, so happy, man. You know, finally, we have someone that's gonna take charge. We have someone with experience, yeah? Don't get me wrong, you know, when Rooney was sacked, it got to me, it got to me. Why? Because I love the geezer as a player, as a player, but as a manager, it just wasn't working out. It just wasn't working out. But when Rooney, gone, gone. Now we have to focus on the future. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We have games like, you know, Swansea coming up. We still have OC to play in the replay. I think it's going to be so, so, so tough. And this is why I'm telling fans, and again and again, please, please, please be patient. Be patient with Tony Mowbray. Because we don't want a divide happening again. This has been happening over the last three, four, five years. Probably even more than that. There's always a divide. I feel like the whole community is never on one. Probably with John Eustace, maybe it was close that everyone was, you know, supporting the manager. It's going to be tough. And also, when it comes to the players, please, please, I do not care what you think about a player. Don't be abusing them online. Do not be abusing your own player online. How is that going to help? How is that going to help? I remember I posted a picture about, about Dion Sanderson. Just saying, you know, me personally, okay, listen, listen, listen. I think Dion Sanderson is going to be a club legend. I'm saying that today. Today's uh, July, say July. <laughs> July, you know. Today's January 8th, 2024. Dion Sanderson is going to be a club legend. And he's going to get into the England senior squad within the next two, three years. I promise you that. I promise you that he's got the talent. He's got the talent. And we as his supporters, we as a club gotta come behind players like him and support him. He's only 23 years old. Yeah, I think yeah, 23 years old. So he's still so young. He has so much to learn. No one is perfect. I don't want to see anyone sending abuse. Please, please, please. And also, I feel like players like Koji Miyoshi is gonna do really well. He's so creative. And I feel like Tony Mobri loves players like that. I feel like Tony Mobri is gonna build a team around Miyoshi. I feel, me personally, I would love that. I would love that. Imagine having Miyoshi right in the middle and having someone like, you know, Dembele, Bakuna. Donovan is going to take time. It's going to take time for Donovan to get into the first team squad. I think technically, he probably can. He's good enough. But with experience, strength, you know, building so much. There's so much knowledge he has to, you know, he has to learn about. I think he's getting there. He's getting there. I feel like him coming in, you know, 20 minutes here and there for like the next six, seven, eight games. And then you never know. He could start. He could start. You never know. He could be a regular. Look at look at Jude Bellingham. That was what happened. No one's seen a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old starting. Starting regularly. Getting player of the month. I think it was young player of the month. I'm not sure if he got player of the month. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, players that you guys might not like, like Ogan, Burke, please still support them. Why? They are our players. Whether we like you or not, they're still our players. Why they're still on the Birmingham C? How support any player? So sometimes they might not play too well, and I'll tell you guys, I'll be like, yo, I didn't like how you know they play today. Boy, I'm not gonna start sending abuse to them. Please, I want Birmingham City, the new revolution. I want to see happiness in the stadium. I want to see everyone happy. Yeah, before a game, I have missed that. I want to see everyone saying, yes, 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 let's believe. I don't care if we're playing Leicester. I don't care if we're playing Ipswich. I don't care if we're playing Leeds United. I don't care where you are. All teams, I don't care. We as Birmingham City, we're one. And when we are one, we're going to win together. Yeah? You guys are probably wondering, why do I have this passion? Why can't you just see it? Look at the players we have. We have Dembele. When Dembele gets the ball and starts doing... Mm, oh, Dembele on his day. Bakuna on his day. Jordan James. Oh, but we're probably going to lose Jordan James. It looks like the deal is mostly done. I'm just hoping it's not done. Just let's have Jordan James for the remainder of the season. Please, please, please. But... For the good of Jordan James, he needs it. I feel like he, when he goes, you know, abroad, especially like Germany, Italy, it's less physical. You know, he learns way, 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 way more. And hopefully, maybe one day he come back to the Premier League. I wish him the best of luck. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Tony Mobile being manager. Again, like I said, he wasn't my first choice. But I feel like he has the experience. He's managed top, top teams. West Brom, Blackburn Rovers, Sunderland. He's managed top teams and he was a great player. On his day as well. And even as a defender, I think he's gonna help players like you know Sanderson, Buchanan, Ethan Lud. I just wish Ethan Lud can just you not know, get injured. Oh, I love Ethan Lud, man. I love him, I love him, and I feel so sorry for him, man. I just wish he doesn't get injured. And also, one more thing, Djokovic. Guys, Djokovic is my player of the week. I'm not sure if you guys seen my post earlier. Djokovic is my player of the week because how is Djokovic still doing it? 
after eight, nine years, that goal against all C, it just shows you when a player cares about a team. Oh man, no matter what happens, please, please, let's keep Djokovic. I'm not too sure whether they're going to give him an extension, but please, just have him just have him doing something with Birmingham C. I feel like players need something like that. They need a role model like that to see. Imagine being in a dressing room, being Roman Donovan, for instance, and seeing what Djokovic is doing. He's not playing. When he wasn't playing on the Rooney, he's still there, he's still you know, working hard, he's still smiling. That's what you need as a team, as a player. That's what you want to see every single time. Again, please, please let me know what you guys think down below. Follow me on Twitter. I'm posting every five minutes, not every five minutes, every few hours on Twitter. I love Twitter. I love Twitter now. Get, just get me out. Check me out on TikTok. Check me out on YouTube. I am on YouTube right now. Eddie Vlogs Football. And I'll try and bring you guys the best, the best football content. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.